Well, welcome to Capital Region Sunday. This is Richie Phillips here with my guest. His name is Reno Aldrighetti from the Pulmonary Hypertension Association. Did I get that correct? Yes, you did. Oh, that's great. And what is your function there? I'm the president and CEO of uh, PHA. And from what I understand, the rumors are getting around that you are retiring this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After, uh, after 18 years, uh, it, uh, it seems like uh, it's, it's the time. That's, that's great. Well, congratulations to you. Can I go with you? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> there, there you go. I, I don't have hypertension, though, but it, it's getting there. <laughs> what does the uh, Pulmonary Hypertension Association do? It seems to be kind of obvious, well, but, but explain it anyway. Sure. So, you know, when people talk about, uh, um, when we talk about pulmonary hypertension, people often think about uh, systemic hypertension, you know, uh, high blood pressure and so on. And, and, uh, really what this is, is something totally different. This is high blood pressure in the arteries between the heart and the lungs. So it's, uh, uh, it, it's something that's different. It, it, uh, what it does is it, uh, as the, uh, as the arteries, uh, constrict, uh, the blood flow between heart and lungs, uh, uh, slows down, uh, there's more stress on the heart, and uh, uh, if it's not corrected, uh, then eventually uh, the heart fails. So it's, it's a very serious disease. Uh, it, uh, uh, it is one that is uh, often missed, uh, and uh, it, is, uh, it is often underdiagnosed. So our job is to help tell the world about uh, uh, pulmonary hypertension and to uh, fight the disease through research and uh, uh, medical education as well. You know, we we are uh, we have moved from the point where just uh, last week uh, PHA celebrated our 25th uh, anniversary. So four women came around the kitchen table uh, in uh, uh, in Indian Town, Florida. Uh, it uh, when they met with each other. Uh, uh, around that kitchen table uh, on January twelfth uh, uh, of nineteen ninety one, uh, they uh, uh, for two of the women around the table, it was the first time they met another patient after two years of searching. So the disease was extremely rare. Today we have between twenty and thirty thousand patients, and it's it's not because there is some kind of an epidemic. It's because a diagnosis has uh, has improved, and because uh, people are much more aware and talking to their physicians uh, about the disease, and physicians are are becoming better educated about it. We try and play an important uh, role in that. Do you feel that it is straight genetics? That causes it. Um, that's a great question because uh, there uh, there is a genetic component. Uh, about uh, about fifteen uh, percent of the uh, uh, the patients uh, have uh, a genetic relationship to the disease. And uh, you know, one of the things that uh, we have at PHA is a uh, an international conference. It happens every two years. And before our first conference, uh, uh, just a, a quick side story. Uh, uh, our conference was uh, was proposed the year after the organization was founded, and uh, the husband of one of the founders uh, said, "You know, we should have an international conference." There was eight hundred and thirty-one dollars and twenty-seven cents in the treasury at the time, and they said, that, "Ed, well, maybe not next year, but maybe in 1994." And they decided they were going to do it. So, so that kind of risk that the organization took. Uh, to do a conference resulted in not only a couple of hundred uh, patients getting together and some doctors and and uh, uh, and caregivers, uh, but uh, one doctor called them uh, a couple of weeks before the conference and he said, "Could I could I draw blood at the conference?" And they they had no idea who he was. They didn't know even if he had a medical license. But they checked him out. He was highly credible. Uh, he was uh, Greg Elliott from the University of Utah. And uh, uh, and uh, they allowed him to uh, draw blood. And uh, uh, Greg uh, has uh, been in our leadership for many years. And he came back to one of our conferences a few years ago and uh, talked to people about the history of uh, the development of, of progress in fighting this disease. And he said, you know, one of the most important things was it would have taken me uh, uh, 10 years to draw as much blood as I was able to draw at that first conference. And uh, uh, because uh, because it was so hard to get many patients together 
uh, in one place at that time. Sure. And he said, but but that uh, that blood draw resulted in many uh, many uh, projects, including the discovery of the first gene for pulmonary hypertension. Now, do you find that when a celebrity discloses that they have a disease, something like hypertension, um, pulmonary hypertension, that it of course it's going to raise awareness? Like for example, David Letterman. Sure. Did, did David Letterman actually have that particular condition? I do not know if David Letterman did, but you know what just. Uh, Natalie Cole, yes, uh, I was just thinking uh, about family that. just spoke about uh, 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 that uh, she had that, which which uh, uh, which was you know th- this is something that uh, she was fortunate to have it diagnosed. But like many people, it, it's diagnosed late. We have an early diagnosis campaign uh, and a, and a web t- uh, site. Uh, uh, sometimes it's ph.org that you know that talks about symptoms and how to talk to doctors as well about the the disease. Uh, And of course, we we have medical education programs. Uh, Our online, PHA Online uh, University is our medical website, which is uh, www.phaonlineuniv.org, which has a tremendous amount of uh, medical education and uh, accredited uh, medical uh, uh, courses which are which are put together by experts in the field and and are used by physicians uh, around the world now uh, to understand more about the disease and then we do about uh, sixty uh, or so face to face medical education meetings in the u s as well now can someone join the association you betcha that's, that's <laughs> gee i'm wondering aren 't you glad I asked that question <laughs> yeah I, I certainly am so uh, i'm very well so, trained in, uh, in, in helping you <laughs> and thank you so uh so ph uh, www dot org is our website and uh uh, many people, there are a lot of ways to join. People get information through their their, their doctors and nurses, but um, uh, but anyone can take a look at our uh, our primary website, phassociation.org, and uh, and there is membership information there as well. It's a very inexpensive membership. It's uh, fifteen dollars per uh, per year, oh, and that's... there are family memberships and so on. That's great. We have two medical associations built into PHA as well. One for uh, physicians and researchers, and uh, one for allied health professionals like nurses, respiratory therapists, and pharmacists. I'll have links to all this information on our website. And in fact, uh, Reno, this information in this interview is going to be on four of our radio stations. So you'll have a lot of people uh, very, very interested in clicking and getting more information. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, um, besides uh, besides joining uh, at phassociation.org, uh, we also have uh, an online newsletter, PHA News, uh, which comes out weekly and uh, uh, has a lot of uh, good information uh, about uh, about the illness and, and uh, advances in the medical field as well. Uh, and that, that's something people can find on that website, too. And you also have a conference coming up? Oh, yes. Yeah, June 17th to 19th uh, in uh, Dallas. And uh, uh, we have... Um, uh, more information on uh, phassociation.org, and in mid-January, uh, there will be a, a full website uh, on uh, the conference uh, that will be uh, launching. The, r- right now, what people can do is uh, is uh, go to phassociation.org and then look at the Education tab, and under the Education tab will be the 2016 conference uh, information. Well, that's great. I'm hoping that people will get on there and uh, find out more about this because it's it's really, it has taken lives and it shouldn't. Oh, yes. Reno Adrighetti, thank you very, very much for calling in this morning. Well, it's been my pleasure. Uh, I've enjoyed speaking with you and, and thanks for helping us spread awareness uh, about pulmonary hypertension. Great. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You bet.